What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, I wanted to check out a brand new extension from Daniel Tao that can basically fix the clipping plane issue that a lot of people run into inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is an issue that a lot of SketchUp users have run into at one time or another, and it's really frustrating because it makes working in SketchUp really difficult on larger models. And so basically, what this is, is the clipping plane issue is an issue where when you start zooming in, um, you start getting this weird plane in here that clips out things inside of your model. And it can make working in your model really difficult um, because you can be trying to like edit something or something like that and all of a sudden the clipping plane just clips everything out and trying to work on that can get really frustrating. I mean, you can kind of like rotate around, but then even if you zoom back in, it's still clipping out your model and uh, you can't really do anything about it. And so Daniel's been working on an extension for this that basically fixes this problem. And so first off, if you want more information about the extension, you can check out his webpage at clippingplane.com. You can go purchase the extension there. I will note this is a paid extension, um, but it also solves a really frustrating problem that could save you a whole lot of time. Um, so again, I will link to that in the notes down below, but that's clippingplane.com. And so the way this extension works is it's actually really simple. What happens is when you're zoomed in like this and you start running into clipping issues, if you click on this button right here for set near clip plane distance, it's going to pop up a little window and it's going to change some camera settings. And then once you're done, the clipping plane issue is gone. So basically what it does is it goes in and it adjusts your settings so that now you don't have that clipping plane issue anymore. So now you can click inside of here, you can edit, you're not running into that issue anymore. So it's very simple, which I actually like in an extension, and it solves the problem. And so one thing to point out about this extension is it has the option for set your near clip plane distance. So that's when you're zoomed in and you want to set your clipping plane so it's not clipping this out anymore. Um, however, one thing to know about this and the reason there's a second button is because if you zoom out, something to do with the camera setting starts giving you all this like flashing and Z fighting when you start zooming further out. So you can see how you're getting Z fighting on these faces even though when you zoom back in you're not because they're not it it has to do with the camera settings inside of SketchUp that's why that's happening so if you do run into that so if you zoom out over here you can just click on the button for reset near clip plane distance to default this will pop up for a second and then that'll fix that so that the Z fighting's not in here and so the nice thing about this is you can see how when we reset that we start running into the clipping plane issue again so but it's really quick to just jump back Back and forth between the two. So another example is if we had this bridge project right here, you can see how things are starting to get clipped out. So if you wanted to edit like this wall or something like that, you can see how this clipping plane can really get in the way of that. Well, if you click this button, it'll go through, it'll change your settings real quick, and then now you can get in here and you can work on that no problem. And if you need to zoom back out and you start running into the Z fighting issues or the little faces showing up, you can just click this button right here to switch back and forth. So again, very simple, um, but it solves a very frustrating problem and there hasn't really been a consistent fix for this in the past, so it's nice to see an extension that will do that. So again, if you're interested in the extension, you can check it out at clippingplane.com. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Have you struggled with the clipping plane in the past? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.